Yeah, I'm freshly showered. I was not outside in the wind, so my hair no longer has that wild... Whatever it is to it, unfortunately, I seem to have misplaced my Missouri Meerschaum General, so I will be tearing up my room looking for that and my book, the um, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, because I misplaced that too. No, know it's in here somewhere, but don't know where anyways. Going to be smoking again out of my Nording Freehand. Quite possibly my favorite pipe. And today we're going to be trying, excuse me, Briar Fox. Now this is a crumble cake and I've yet to have a crumble cake before it, you take it out and it just kind of looks like a big leafy brownie. Now, I don't know how you're supposed to um, prepare this, but I usually do. It's just tear off a chunk, like I've been doing there. And just kind of stuff it in my pipe. That's a small chunk, but it's okay. I just want a small bowl. This stuff is um, not nearly as good as a Scudo, but then again, there's no Perique in it, it's a Virginia Burley blend. It's my real, my first real Virginia Burley blend. I am not counting Aaron Moore Flake as a Virginia Burley blend, that stuff is just too topped with whatever. Stuff it in my pipe. Probably should have stuffed a little more, but oh well. C'est la vie. And take my trusty Zippo. Now, the first thing I notice in this pipe is actually the burly. Because it has this nice, um, not quite cashew, but a nice nutty taste. I'll have to excuse me, my phone is set up in front of my laptop and it's when the screen fades so does the lighting. <laughs> but I get a nice burly um, hit. With a bit of a grassiness which I believe is to be from the Virginias. And the one thing I do notice is this does seem to burn a little bit hotter than my, well, really, any other pipe tobacco I've ever had. Which again, copy from the Virginias. I don't really get a tongue bite, but I get a nice, um, Odd tingle, possibly from the heat. I do enjoy it. I just don't enjoy it as much as the um, other blends. 
Will I be picking it up again? No, probably. I know they sell it in 8 and 16 ounce, 8 ounce tins and 16 ounce bricks. No, I doubt I'll be getting the um, 16 ounce brick. But I'll definitely be getting the 8 ounce brick soon. Just keep in mind, my next order is going to be containing um, 24 ounces of luxury navy flake because, oh boy, that stuff is delicious too. that comfy in my chair. It's Sunday's the 8th, nope, 19th, never mind. Not a little bit past 11.30 in the morning. Looks like a cold, dreary day, but oh well. It is, after all, November in Canada, of all places. Now I do have a problem with this um, staying lit, probably because I need to rub out the um, chunks instead of just kind of tearing it off and stuffing it in my pipe like a crude man. But I am a crude man, I do admit. <coughs> oh, that felt good. Excuse me, but that felt good. I feel another one coming up. Or not, never mind. And I forgot to do a tin melt. Get the smoke out of my face. It's um sweet, yeah, sweet, sweet, somewhat citrusy. A bit of a, um, the burly in the tin note is not as strong as the burly in the flavor. And my screen just died. Oh well. I do rather enjoy it. It's significantly better than I thought it was going to be. I do rather enjoy the uh, burly. I think I am becoming somewhat of a burly man, where before I was a lot of Kia guy. Anyways, I have a very little else to say, so I think I'll end the video here, and enjoy the rest of this fall. Take care, everybody. Have yourselves a good day, and bye.